stamping friends. Welcome to the joyous stamping with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn and it's Fun Fold Friday. Today we'll be making a accordion style card with the well done stamp set. Go ahead and grab your supplies if you're ready and hold while I flip and we'll get started. All right, feel free to comment all day on this one. Usually you only have during the live to comment, but since I will be at training the rest of the day, um, I, you guys can comment all day long and might win today's card. So here it is. It is so fun. It is an accordion fold, and you see how it opens up that way and folds back down. And it's great because it actually fits in our regular A2 envelope as well. Make sure that's focusing. You see it okay? There we go. I did use our well done stamp set for today's card. And I used um, this cute well here and I punched him out. And I used these two sayings thanks a ton and well done. I also had to use the DSP. And I love this DSP. It's so fun. And there's so many fun choices that you can use to make this style card. Um, the paper I used today full on looks like this and I cut it so that my largest one starts on this bottom scene and I work my way up. Let me go ahead and show you how we cut and score our card base. Let me get this into view so you can see it better. There we go. This is my paper trimmer and it has a score blade and a trimmer blade on it. And our measurements for today for this card base is 10 and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then we score it four times to make that fold. So I'm gonna go first look at my two and a quarter right there. Line it up. Oh, as so I wiggle it, go back two and a quarter right there. And I'll score that. And then I'll move it to three and a half, right down there, and I'll score that. And then six and a quarter, and that one's kind of tricky to find on the trimmer, but it's right here in that hinge almost. Got six and a quarter, and then seven and three eighths. And I always have to remember where three eighths is, and it's right before the half. So seven and three eighths, there we go. And that is the hardest part of this card. It's right there. It's scoring it just right. Let me go ahead and take that out. And we'll get our stamping ready. So you're going to leave this flat while you stamp it. In my original one, I put DSP right here in this panel. But you can do either way. You can DSP here or, or stamp in these two middle, the smaller spots. So I'm going to do... Well done, and thanks a ton. Right there. Our well done. And these are fun, punny words to go along with a saying. And I'm going to keep this flat until we are done gluing. So here's my bottom piece right here. I'm going to glue that right on. These measurements I'll have all on my blog and save afterwards, but I'll see if I can remember to tell you some of them as we go along. This bottom one is two and five eighths by four. And we'll just move that so it looks nice. And then this one I have ran through my die cutting emboss machine. I call it my boss using the seabed embossing folder. It's not beautiful. And so that breaks up our image just a little bit. We'll put some liquid glue on there. And that measurement is two and a half by four. Right there. And then our last measurement is this panel top here and it's a two by four. I'll put some liquid glue on this one. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. I'll put that 
on just like so. Sorry, no, that's out of screen. There we go. Oh, and look, I wiggled it. So let me fix that real fast. Good thing we used liquid glue. There we go. Okay. Next, we want to use some dimensionals on our well. Let's give him a little bit of pop. I'll just flip him over. And give him a couple. And I use that well builder punch for him. I stamped him in the Pacific point. All right, perfect. And then lastly, I have some of these really fun sequins. And these are so much fun to add. These can look like bubbles a little bit. My favorite ones is this really cool little pink seashell over here. Let me grab this one out. You see them right there? This would be a great thing to use your take a pick tool for. So that way it sticks nicely. I have that one and I don't have mine handy. So we're just gonna use my good old fashioned fingers. There we go. And the glue for this one. <laughs> All right, lastly, we would let those dry, but we're gonna go ahead and speed up time. And what we're gonna do now is fold this with our bone folder. So we're gonna crease it right here, fold, and we're gonna crease it down right there and fold. And because this is a thicker card, you wanna make sure you use that bone folder. Then we're gonna come over here, we're gonna go over it and crease it. It's coming together, I can see it. And then our last one is right there. And this one I will actually flip over and crease it there and I'll continue doing it to all three of those ones. Just make it nice and crisp. All right, that's it. That's our accordion fold card with our secret messages going as we open it. I hope you guys had a great time learning this one today and try it yourself. Have a great weekend. Happy stamping everyone. Bye.